so up next we have Femi Redwood, and she's from Fios News. Can I? Uh, she's going to be talking to you guys for uh, what I've learned as a one-man band reporter. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Okay, we're going to wait 15 seconds for this slide to go by because the timing is really important here. Trust me. My name is Femi Redwood, and I am a reporter for Fios One News. And this is a great white slide. Look at it. All right, it's almost done. There we go. All right, so I'm a one-man band reporter. This means I shoot my own video, I write my story, I record myself on camera, and then I edit it all together. But that also means I'm often alone where sometimes things like this can happen. I'm Femi Redwood in Westchester with the new drugs that lawmakers say are perfectly <laughs> legal. There we go. Yep. <sighs> good times, good times. Look at that face. You can tell how freaked out I am. I love my job, but it's not glamorous. Because I don't have a photographer, there are a lot of things that limit me, but I don't allow them to get in my way. If I've got a cameraman, I can walk, I can talk, I can show off the scene. But without it, I have to rely a lot more on editing. But we all kind of have these things that, in theory, could get in our way, but we can't allow limitations to limit us. If you're black, you might deal with racism. If you're a lesbian, gay, bisexual, you got good old-fashioned homophobia. If you're a woman, there's sexism. But the point is, don't allow limitations to limit us because nothing is impossible. We, uh, we've all heard the cliche, think outside the box. I like it except I prefer to say F the box. Think about it. Boxes are meant to keep things inside, but why do you want to keep things inside? Not your dreams, not your ideas, not your creativity. F the box. And side note, anybody in here have a cat who has a cat? Anyone with a cat knows that cats love boxes. You're about to see a fantastic cat on the screen. Come on, cat, there we go. That's my cat. Are you a cat? Then F the box because nothing is impossible, except me possibly tripping on that. Nothing is impossible. Now, there should be something else I'm gonna say as soon as the slide comes up. Ah, I am from this tiny island in South Carolina where I had a pet goat follow me to school every day. I know that's not a goat, but she was really, really cute, so I wanted to use her slide. <laughs> but needless to say, <laughs> I came from this tiny island in South Carolina so I now get to live in the best city in the world, and I get to tell stories every day because nothing is impossible. We've all heard those cliches, go with the flow, the ebbs and flows of life. Don't swim upstream, float downstream. That's great, except realistically, how many of us remember those things when we need to remember them the most? I don't. How many times in our career have, has there been something where you had something mapped out, but it didn't work? Maybe your company downsized, your job is a dead-end job, just didn't work. Doesn't matter, go with it. I'm not saying give up, I'm saying think of a new way, a better way. And listen, I'm not super positive, I'm not Mrs. Sunshine, I'm the girl that wants to drive with eggs in her car so I can throw them at other drivers because people annoy me, but that's okay because I'm normal and I'm human and we're all normal and we're human but we can't allow those things to get in our way. And I get that as women, you always hear, smile, be nice, be positive, which is what I'm doing now when I realize it's annoying. My girlfriend kind of pointed out that it's annoying. I get it, but we can't allow those things to get in our way. That's Boo the dog. I love Boo the dog. Now, there are times where I get to a scene and I see another reporter and she's got her fancy photographer and there's me. That reporter's wearing these fantastic heels and I'm wearing a dingy pair of Toms. I get jealous. I get annoyed. I want to wear cute heels, but I can't and that's okay because I'm human and I'm normal, but I don't allow that to get in the way of my job because I still have a job to do, like Walter Cronkite. Now, <laughs> In news, we've got this thing that is the closing line, which is the thing that we want viewers to take away where the viewer's like, ah, I get it. So here is my closing line. Love. Love your life. Love your career. Love your moment. Love 
everything that's going on right now. And if you don't love your career, stop and find the career you love. Because with love, everything is possible. All right.